One of the nation's leading business groups is urging the Fair Work Commission to increase minimum wages by 4%. That's well below the current rate of inflation at 6.8%. To talk about it, CEO with the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Andrew McKellar, joins us from Canberra. Andrew, good morning. Welcome to News Breakfast. Good morning, uh, Lisa. Great to be with you. Now, you've settled on, in your submission to the Fair Work Commission, 3.5% uh, increase with a 0.5% superannuation. Why that figure? Well, uh, look, we, we've done a lot of analysis uh, here. O obviously, uh, it does reflect the fact that uh, uh, workers uh, need a pay rise, they deserve a pay rise, uh, but also we've got to take account of the fact that uh, many businesses, particularly small businesses, are struggling uh, at the moment. Uh, we have to have an outcome which supports getting inflation under control. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we've got to ensure that uh, businesses aren't facing uh, those uh, higher costs. So we think it's a responsible outcome and we think it's something that will support workers and small businesses alike. How does it support workers when it means that they continue to have what is a real wage cut? Well, the thing that's uh, eroding living standards at the moment, of course, is, is inflation. Uh, we've got to get that under control. We've got to get it back down to that 2 to 3 per cent uh, range uh, that uh, the Reserve Bank uh, is targeting. If we don't do that, uh, we're just going to end up uh, chasing our, our tail. Uh, uh, it will mean that uh, businesses are putting up uh, prices uh, again. Uh, that's cutting further into wages. It means there's going to be more pressure uh, on, on interest rates. Uh, we've got to see an outcome that's fair to workers and fair to small businesses. Um, and that's the best way forward. Uh, you are sort of hinting there at what people have uh, suggested might occur, which is this wage rise spiral, wage price spiral. Uh, we're talking about the Commission making a once a year decision and we have seen that in fact the threats or fears of what was going to happen did not happen. It wasn't brought in by wages going up at all after the last increase. So why do you stick with this argument when economists say there's not the grounds to it? Well, the, the reality is that uh, business uh, conditions uh, have tightened appreciably over the past uh, couple of quarters. But it's not happening because wages are going up. Well, and, and we don't want to see wages going up excessively. The ACTU has put forward a submission to increase wages uh, by 7%. Now, that's an extra $12.6 billion of cost that flows into business and particularly uh, small business. Uh, those businesses are struggling. Um, they're not making uh, increased profits. Many of them are actually going backwards. Uh, we don't want to uh, do further damage. Um, that would put at risk uh, jobs. Now we've, we've, we've seen though that big business is doing well. We've seen the profit announcements that have been coming out over the last couple of months. We had Sally McManus on the couch just yesterday mm. and I put to her this suggestion that small business was doing it tough and she said that's not the evidence either. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but she, she's wrong. Uh, if you look at what's happening in terms of profit figures over the past uh, couple of years, it's sectors uh, like accommodation, hospitality, uh, retail. Uh, they've been struggling. Um, they're going backwards, uh, not forwards. Um, and they're the ones, those are the sectors that are paying these minimum award wages, um, not the mining sector. Of course, the mining sector resources uh, in general have been ma making much better profits. Um, so I think we, we've got to get our facts straight. Um, that's the reality for many small businesses. We've got to give them a fair go. They're the backbone of the economy. If we want to address uh, the, the things that are eroding living standards, then we've got to get uh, those costs under control. We've got to take the pressure off interest rates uh, and that's the way that people are going to get ahead and small businesses are going to get ahead as well. Okay, well there's clearly a bit of disagreement about where everyone's landing on their submissions. We'll see how it all goes. Thank you for joining us this morning, Andrew McKellar. Thanks, Lisa.